Hello and welcome to the Daily Fisher Bible. I'm Robbie Yates. I actually found today's reading quite interesting as I was preparing it earlier. Today we look at the special files of a crew called the Nazarites. I'd love to explore more details about the subculture of the Israelites further. So if you know anything about them already or can point me in the right direction to begin my research, please email me at dailyvisualbible at gmail.com. It's Numbers chapter 6 today. Let's open God's word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, that you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they come to a better understanding of you. Amen. Numbers, chapter 6 Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel and tell them, When I have a man or woman to make a special vow, the vow of a Nazarite, to separate himself to Yahweh, he shall separate himself from wine and strong drink. He shall drink no vinegar of wine, or vinegar of fermented drink. Neither shall he drink any juice of grapes, nor eat fresh grapes or dried. All the days of his separation, he shall eat nothing that is made of the grapevine, from the seeds even to the skins. All the days of his vow of separation, no razor shall come on his head, until the days are fulfilled, in which he separates himself to Yahweh. He shall be holy. He shall let the locks of the hair of his head grow long. All the days that he separates himself to Yahweh, he shall not go near a dead body. He shall not make himself unclean for his father, or for his mother, or for his brother, or for his sister, when they die, because his separation to God is on his head. All the days of his separation he is holy to Yahweh. If any man dies very suddenly beside him, and he defiles the head of his separation, and he shall shave his head in the day of his cleansing. On the seventh day he shall shave it. On the eighth day he shall bring two turtle doves, or two young pigeons, the priest, to the door of the tent of meeting. The priest shall offer one for a sin offering, and the other for a burnt offering, and seek forgiveness for him, because he sinned by reason of the dead. And shall make his head holy that same day. He shall separate to Yahweh the days of his separation, and shall bring a male lamb a year old for a guilt offering. But the former days shall be void, because his separation was defiled. This is the law of the Nazarites. When the days of his separation are fulfilled, he shall be brought to the door of the tent of meeting, and he shall offer his offering to Yahweh. One male lamb a year old, without the fact for a burnt offering, and one new lamb, a year old without the fact for sin offering, and one ram without the fact for peace offerings, and a basket of unleavened bread, cakes of fine flour mixed with oil, and unleavened wafers anointed with oil, and their meal offering, and their drink offerings. The priest shall present them before Yahweh, and shall offer his sin offering and his burnt offering, he shall offer the ram for a sacrifice of peace offerings to Yahweh, with the basket of unleavened bread. The priest shall offer also its meal offering and its drink offering. The Nazarite shall shave the head of his separation at the door of the tent of meeting, and shall take the hair of the head of his separation, and put it on fire, which is under sacrifice and peace offerings. The priest shall take the bull's shoulder of the ram, and one unleavened cake out of the basket, and one unleavened wafer, and shall put them in the hands of the Nazarite, after he has shaved the head of his separation, and the priest shall wave them for a wave offering before Yahweh. This is holy for the priest together with the breast that is waved and the fire that is offered. After that, the Nazarite may drink wine. This is the law of the Nazarite who vows and of his offering to Yahweh for his separation, besides that which he is able to get, according to his vow which he vows, so he must do after the law of his separation. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to Aaron and to his sons, saying, This is how you shall bless the children of Israel. Yahweh bless you and keep you. Yahweh make his face to shine on you and be gracious to you. Yahweh lift up his face toward you and give you peace. So they shall put my name on the children of Israel and I will bless them.